where the world champs minus one year lost another key contributor. Mm. KCP signed a three-year, $66 million contract with the Frisky Magic. Uh, KCP with Denver last year, you know, 10 points, but he shot 42% from three. There's also some free agent chatter, bro. Russell Westbrook mm. interested in Denver. Supposedly Joker wants him in Denver. So the question here is, they still have the second best championship odds. So wait, you're saying the Nuggets, a year removed from winning the championship and then yeah. having a disappointing playoff run, could yep. move on from KCP in place of <laughs> Russell Westbrook? Yeah, because, I'm that sure that'll work because the star ever. player is really <laughs> The star player wasn't? I, I have never seen that not work out swimmingly. Should Denver fans or people who tweet about Denver be worried? Well, look, yeah. I mean, they're still the top contender. Uh, they are right there with the Dallas's and OKC's and Minnesota's. But one of their problems this year was lack of depth. Mm. And now that depth has gotten even worse. Westbrook, as long as he would come off the bench there, I, I don't hate that. He could bring energy. That's something they need, some athleticism, some injury. If they're thinking about starting him, no. that's not a good no, look No, take starting off the board. All right, so, so off the bench, I don't mind. I think Westbrook now has been removed from being a star for s several years now. So I think he'd be fine with that role and he could bring some energy. But they, they need to keep adding shooting. All right? That's, and, and their biggest thing is health. Keep Jamal healthy and all that. But Christian Brown, I think he can step in there for KCP. I believe so. But behind him, you need depth. And, yeah. you, and, and Christian Brown next year will not be as good as KCP has been the last couple of years. He's just KCP's like, a 10-point scorer. Yeah, but I he's like a very him, good defender, very good yes. defender, and he's uh, consistent and a champion a couple times over. Yeah, and, and so now there's a lot of Peyton Watson involved. Well, All of a sudden, the guy they the traded shoot. up at 22, yeah. Deron Holmes, might have to be involved. Mm -hmm. Hey, Wilds. Yeah? You going to be sending those tweets I'm not year? ready to make a call on that yet. I would like to see some just more three-point Just say no. No, 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 I'm not willing to say no. I'm like you. You, I'm not you mean you might sit here next year and say nobody's beating them in seven? You can pick them, but to be so brash and so bold and so obnoxious, you can't do that. So, the heart wants so, what the heart can, wants. Can, I'm only going to tweet one way, bro. Can I, can I say You've something You've never even quick? seen the tweet. I, I have just one. I, I hear a scuttlebutt is bad. If, about if I were a Nuggets fan, yeah. I'd be pretty livid with ownership. Yeah, you have some other. You fair. have maybe, I think in most people's eyes, the best player in the league. Mm -hmm. One of the let's be con very conservative about it. Twenty-five greatest players ever, at the peak of his powers. Yep. And you just keep losing guys, and they're guys that you have you the rights keep. to keep. Yep. Like now there's aprons and there's taxes and there's a bunch of stuff no one cares about. That's correct. But you have this is your moment. Yep. And Jokic, just like you say you treat Embiid like he's older than his age, I treat Jokic like he's a little older than his age, too, because at some point I think he might be like, guys, I'm done here. I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go race my horses. It was and and, and, so, it, and to, to just to lose Bruce Brown I and agree. then KCP in consecutive off seasons and have nothing significant coming in, I'd be pissed if I were a Nuggets fan. That's I agree. all fair. Coming up next, we're talking about drama. Or I would say longer than needed statement. And then we just pulled what? one inch. It was a. It was too long. We don't need it. We don't need all that. You're not passing legislation. Uh, we traded a lot. Uh, Dude, a lot to, to pair really. Paul and Kawhi in an exchange. We had five seasons of contention. Did you? Gee whiz. Even though we fell four, short of four. our ultimate objective, we appreciate the chances we had with Paul. They also went on to say they were excited about the opportunities they were afforded, including greater flexibility under the new CBA, which fans lost their minds about. They loved it. <laughs> Brew, how will you remember your Clippers? <sighs> First of all, I'm doing this segment under protest. Okay. Why? Because I, I, I picked them like one year. No, you picked and them my literally, Clippers. You picked them literally this year to make the conference finals. I think you did. literally picked them. Is this that the year. championship? Well, it, 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 it's, it's a lot the further than they got. It's the you championship. Just, every year you picked They've them. They've been to more the conference than... finals. Here, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. I will remember Brew's Clippers. Mm -hmm. Like I'll remember Bruce Nets. <laughs> Don't you failure? Play. No, it's I, I really believe that failure. I have the graphic for But it. failure because of, and I'm not guaranteeing they would have won a championship, but failure because of injuries. How did they Nets, look when they were fully healthy? They only had one year How'd of it that, go? What and happened? they no, they failed. But that's one year. If if I were to take 
essentially every player in the history of the game and say, how do you look that one year? A lot of guys, Luka, failed this year. Doesn't mean they're going to keep failing. Luka's failure this year would have been the apex of the Clippers franchise history. It's still a failure. It's not, okay. All right, he didn't, I mean, in general, he didn't get it done in the championship series. I can point to a lot of guys that didn't do that. If I, Le- LeBron after Dallas, yeah, how do he look? Well, yeah, but we saw that, after that. Okay, so okay. I'm just saying you can't say they failed 2020 in the bubble. Yes. They, that was the one chance they had. Mm-hmm. They're up 3-1 over Denver, and they choke. And not only did Paul George, who I talked about last year, last segment, four points, four for 16. Kawhi, six for 22. I think he had 14 points And every game, in game they blew seven. a huge lead. In they, the- they, they choked. Yeah. But Kawhi is a championship guy, has championship medal. Yeah. So I'm not – he had a bad game. Yeah. But my point is, after that, Kawhi – I mean, the year they went to the conference finals, he missed the last eight playoff games. All right? This past two years, he's played four out of 11 playoff games. And so I'm saying, you can't – you're going to sit here and act like injuries were not no, a huge – I'm not going to The say, defining no, factor no, of I'm their not, I'm just going Just like to, with Brooklyn. I'm going to go uh, – I'm a facts guy, Brew. You know that. Yeah. I just and gave And the facts, facts are – the facts are it will go down – as one of the single worst trades in the history of the league. Hmm. Now, we can say for that injuries ruined it. We can give whatever qualifiers, but we can show you what the trade was. For five years of Paul George, what you gave up was Shea, Jalen Williams, couple rotation guys, two more first-round picks down the road, and a swap next year as well. So all of that for what? Well, what did you it's achieve like the Nets. in the five years? Right, that, that's on the, the – the Nets at least had the excuse of our Russian oligarch owner a year in was like, screw this, I'm out. <laughs> but um, would, and quickly the, on that, wouldn't yeah. you say the Nets was worse? Because you were yeah. getting an old team. So that, that's that's why I said one of I'm and not, not mad at them for going Now, the Nets yeah. didn't have nearly as embarrassing marketing campaign, billboards, and New Balance commercials, but still. The, it, it, here is what they accomplished – where it stacks up to the rest of the league. Playoff games won 10th. It's a 30-team league. Series won three. It tied for ninth. So I, they are like the Andre, they, they have a success level of like the Andre Kirilenko Jazz. Oh. Like, hey, remember them? They had a cool moment. Well, it, they I'd made it one the, conference finals. Wasn't that finals. the Darren Williams Jazz? Yeah, AK-47 is more. Okay, so the, the Al Horford Hawks. Like, they're not hey, quite to the but, level but it, why? of the – what? Why? Why was it, Brew? I think I'm it's just more asking. than just injury, but that's fine. Really? But what I what I know is that they they look up in NBA lore to the Demar Derozan, Kyle Lowry Raptors, which for a team with as much hype as they had, is they a little embarrassing. Than. I mean, look, it, they, it's they, a little I embarrassing. I'm not mad at them for going for it. it the guys got hurt. Yeah. They're on six finals appearances, four titles, 720 six games most, together, okay. uh, and six most wins by a trio all time. A 718 winning percentage. Uh, are you viewing this as the official end of the Warriors? <laughs> it's certainly the end of an era. I mean, because it's their championships, even with Kevin Durant there, because he was there obviously for just the two. It's about Steph, Clay, and Draymond. Mm-hmm. Steph and Clay, best backcourt ever. Mark Jackson said it, best shooting backcourt ever early in their career, and they became the best backcourt ever. So in that regard, it's the end of an era. Look, I think the Warriors, they they still are going to try to make some moves. The Lowry Markkinen is out there from Utah. I love that. I love you know, that, too. Oh I would love God. it. I don't do see it. how they can get it, but it's go ahead. It's going to be different. You're right. Yeah. He's a perfect fit if he's, they can get him. Yes. And even if they get him, I, I think, you know, they're – I think I have – I don't know if I – no, I, I have a graphic on tears oh, okay. later, later, but not for this one. But I, I think that they're <laughs> – <laughs> the the There's a graphic coming up. I think that um, they're basically where they were last year. They're fighting to just get in the they're postseason, and that includes the play-in, not just the, yeah. play, the real playoffs, but the play-in. Right. 10th, 11th. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of – and by the way, I, I saw the marketing thing as well, but I also saw this weekend that they could have gotten uh, Levine – and they said no to it because, to me, just for Chris Paul or Wiggins, or Wiggins, reported, you're right, which, and then a little salary filler. So that, to me, indicates this is that Joe Lake was telling the truth that their number one goal is to not get under the apron, but to get under the tax, mm-hmm. and that this. So 
this is over. Now, I don't view this as the, I view this as the end of the end. We, can, we know what the beginning of the end was. The beginning of the end was this moment right here uh, before they played a single game in their title defense. This, yeah. as history will Hard tell it, was the beginning of the end of the Warriors. We just didn't know it yet, but it was. Mm -hmm. And nothing was right ever since then. That year, they you know tried to deal with it, and then they go out kind of quietly in round two to LeBron and the Lakers. Mm -hmm. Then next year, we don't have to keep playing this. The next year, 